Hi, everyone. I'm Christine Tully, President and Executive Writing Coach at Defend, Publish, and Lead. And welcome to Episode 161, Pay Attention to Your Writing Sessions This Week. This week's episode is going to be relatively short because I have an assignment for you. And that assignment is to pay attention to these specific things as you go to work on any kind of writing. So for example, I, well, let me back up for a second. I often call writing sessions the time that you're writing. So they might be scheduled. So for example, I mentioned how I like to sometimes write from 10 a.m. to noon in the library. So I might be planning to do that. It's a scheduled writing session. Or it might be that you manage to scrape together 20 minutes in your car while you're waiting for somebody to do something and you got some writing done. Doesn't matter whether it's scheduled or unscheduled. But these are the things I'd like you to take a, uh, take a look at this week. And why I want you to look at them is in the next couple of episodes, we're going to work on tweaking writing sessions to make these a little bit more efficient and helpful for you. So these are three things I want you to pay attention to this week. And that's all you have to do to be prepared for next week's episodes. So the first one would be, how do you get started writing? And what I mean by that is not when do you start clicking your fingers on the keyboard or when do you start using a, you know, a pen and paper, but instead, when is the transition point from whatever you were doing before you got to the writing to the writing? So for example, for me, if it's going to be a regular day when I'm writing in the library, I might say, well, what I'm doing to get into my writing is I'm walking in the building of the library, I'm walking upstairs, I'm sitting down at a table, I'm turning my laptop on, and I'm reviewing my notes so I see what it is that I'm supposed to be working on. That by, might be my getting into writing ritual. So that's what you want to pay attention to. I would say like the 15 minutes before you write and you actually start producing some text, see if you can pay attention to that and, and look at what it is that you're doing. It could be that you need to sit there for a little bit and think about things. It might be that you're giving yourself two more minutes to check email and then you're shutting it off. It doesn't matter, but I just want you to look at that to really pay attention to what you're doing in that 15 minutes um, before scheduled or unscheduled writing. The second part of that would be, how are you leaving a writing session? Sometimes I call this closing a writing session. I've mentioned one of my New Year's writing resolutions is to pay more attention to how I stop working and make sure that I keep good notes for next time. But all we're doing this week is looking. So I just want you to look at what am I doing from the point my writing session is over? Is it that I slam my laptop shut and shove it in a bag and hope for the best? That's what I was doing. Um, or are you taking a good 15 minutes to take a lot of notes? Um, is it that you use that time to follow up with people on a collaborative project and you send some emails? Just look. That's all we're doing this week. We're not changing any behavior. We're just looking at what happens in the 15 minutes before you write. And I would say maybe even the last 15 minutes of your writing session to maybe even 15 minutes after that when you're maybe technically supposed to be somewhere else. So we're going to look at those two things. And then the third thing that I want to pay attention to is what you spend most of your time during your writing session on. For a lot of it, it's not actually writing. It might be we're reading a little bit, then we're doing some writing. Or it might be that we're, for me, let's give an example here. Um, I might spend the first hour writing and then the second hour reading what I wrote and then doing some revision. I might do that. I might spend a lot of my time, you know, re-outlining something on a whiteboard and then working in those revisions. I know not all writing sessions are the same. That's kind of the fun part about writing is it's different every day. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, but what we want to look at is just what are some things that you're doing in these writing sessions? How's that time divided up? Do you tend to produce more text when you're reading a little bit first? Do you prepare more for a session and you get more writing out of it? You're just actually looking at what, what's happening in the bounds of that writing session. And for the next couple of podcast episodes, we're really going to look at what we can do to make those things a little bit more productive on all sides. Um, also, I'd like to encourage you to listen to our bonus sabbatical episodes. There'll be a new one coming out this week. So if you haven't had a chance to hear those, those should be in your podcast feed. Um, and you're hearing real life sabbatical tips from what's happening on my actual sabbatical. And I'm looking forward to sharing some of these strategies about writing sessions over the next couple of weeks. Happy writing. Mm -hmm.